And I just got off the phone with the DNA specialist out of Arizona. He says he believes Eliza is Elvis's half-sister and that Elvis is still alive. He says the proof is there. DNA evidence doesn't lie. In the studio, Lauren Lee, Fox 13. I'd like to introduce you to our Elvis impersonator, Mr. Johnny Hera, please. <laughs> well, well, good, good, to see you. good to see you, too, Johnny. All right, Johnny, welcome. Now, how long, how long have you been working as an Elvis impersonator? Yeah, since I was 11 years old. And how many years have you been doing it? About 35 years now. About 35 years. 35 years. Okay, well, looking at you, it's obvious that people could mistake you for Elvis. So, have any of the Elvis sightings that you're aware of actually been you? Um, <clears throat> no, sir. The, um, I was mistaken for Elvis in, in Denver, Colorado. Yeah. Uh, I was on the, on the front page of the, of the Rocky Morning News uh, in 1976. And the other time was here in, in Las Vegas when I was uh, with one of my doctors here. No, uh, with one of, the, one of the doctors here. Yeah, one of the doctors. It was Elvis's doctor, if I remember correctly, um, that you, yes, were, you were seen with. Now, yes, that, a, that appeared in the papers? Uh, yes, sir. Did one of the tabloids. Uh, All right. I, I've heard it, yes, sir. Let me ask you. Do you think that there's a possibility that Elvis Presley could still be alive? Well, very sad for, for the fans and sad for... For myself, uh, no, sir, I don't, I don't think he's with us. All right, Johnny. Thank you very much for contributing this evening. Ladies Thank and gentlemen, you. Johnny Hara. Thank you, Johnny. So I face the final curtain, my friend. I'll say it clear. I state my case, of which I'm certain. I've lived life is full. I travel east and every byway. All in this, I did it my regrets. I've had a few, but then again, too few to mention. I did what I had to do. I saw it through without exemption. I plan each charted course, each careful step along a byway or more. Much more than this, I did it mine. Yes, there were times I'm sure you knew when I was all. and cried I've had my share my fill of losing and now as tears subside I find it all so amusing to think I did all that and may I say not in a shy way I did it my way. Oh, what is a man? What has he got? If not himself, then he has not. You say the word.
feeling that sooner or later somebody would find me alive. There are good reasons why I had to do what I did. I, I, I mean, America was under siege, man. Protests, drugs, hippies, violence. And I felt I could help America if I became a federal drug enforcement agent. I had read all the Captain Marvel Jr. comic books. I realized I looked just like him. I played a hero in all of my movies. Now, I wanted to be one in real life. I was going to be America's secret weapon to stop the America haters from destroying it. If I could help save America, maybe this was my real destiny that God had prepared me for all this time. Was an ordinary church going country boy who just happened to love to sing rock and roll music. I didn't mean to put anybody through any pain. I never expected to be anybody important. I hope my story will inspire folks. You know, everyone can be a superhero for America. For a moment. 